Welcome back to another case study. Today we will be talking about this SaaS business where we were able to grow to some crazy numbers. So if we actually take a look at the results, as you can see, we actually started the SEO very, very early on in middle of March 2020. And ever since then, this website has been growing arms and legs. As you can see here, it's now ranking for over 40,000 keywords on Google, and it has a traffic value of just over 170,000. So if this brand was to be doing PPC every single month, they would be looking to spend around 160 to 170,000 US dollars a month. Whereas with SEO, because we've been doing the groundwork for them, they will now not be needing to spend that on PPC. So let's take a look at their actual numbers. So when we first started working with them back in 2020, they were generating just over 5,000 MRR. And as of last month, November 2023, they made just over 123,000 MRR just by the power of SEO and organic rankings. And I'm gonna be showing you exactly step by step what we done in this video. So with this SaaS business, what we actually decided to do is go down a very, very different strategy. Typically speaking, when you go to an SEO agency, they will say, hey, your website is new. What we need to do is build topical authority and we also need to go after super long tail keywords. Rank those first and then we can essentially rank you for, let's say, email marketing company or email marketing software. However, in this scenario, we actually decided to go down what's called the alternatives method. So when you are trying to rank for SaaS keywords, what you will typically find is you might have 10 or 15, or in this case, we actually had 65 competitors. We found that a lot of people would be searching, for example, Clavio alternatives, MailChimp alternatives. And we decided to create a page for all of our competitors listing our brand as the main competitor that people should swap over to. Because if you think of it, if somebody is searching for Clavio alternatives, they are ready to cancel their subscription with Clavio and move over to another SaaS product that provides an email marketing solution. So as we can see here, we have got all of our competitors listed on our website and we are essentially ready to rank these pages because we know for a fact that anybody that's searching for Clavio competitor or MailChimp competitor, they're ready to jump ship and move over to our email marketing solution. So what I have done here is I have just went to ChatGBT and I've said, can you give me a list of 30 competitors to MailChimp display in a table? And I'm just gonna press go. So as we can see here, it has just completed our task. And all we're gonna do now is just copy this over into our Google Sheet. So what we're gonna do now is I'm gonna show you exactly what I mean. So what I will do is I'll just search Clavio alternatives. So very quickly, we can see that Bravo has already done this. Top seven Clavio alternatives for small businesses in 2024. And as we can see here, they have placed themselves as number one. Now this strategy can work for any SaaS, whether you are a payment provider, whether you are an AI content writing service, whatever you are trying to do, you can essentially apply this strategy to your SaaS and very, very quickly build up your SEO organic rankings. And these are the best type of keywords that you can essentially be going for because if somebody is searching for Clavio alternatives, they're gonna be looking to cancel. So as long as your page is talking about the alternatives, potentially you might need to list a few of your competitors. And also if you can, write the article on how to cancel Clavio even better because you're making the process as painless as possible for the actual customer that's looking to jump ship. So now that we have our list of competitors, what we're gonna be doing now is we're gonna be using a term called programmatic SEO to create all of these pages in the space of five minutes or less. So the next step is to install a plugin called Multiple Pages Generator. I believe this plugin is only $99 a year. What I'll do is I will have a link to this down in the description where you can essentially purchase this. So what, once we have MPG installed, the plugin looks something like this. What we want to do is click on From Scratch and we can essentially name our project whatever we want and we have a few options here. Now I have already filled this out. So as we can see, I've named it SAS 
and what we're going to do now is set up the pages so what we can do either is either set up as a post or a page I have selected page now what we want to do is go to all pages and what we're going to do here is select a new page and name this as name this as alternatives click on publish then if we search here alternative as we can see here it comes up in the drop down now basically what this means is this is our master page so any edits that we build on here it will essentially get projected out to all of our alternative pages so you'll see what I mean in just a second then if you want to just click on save changes here so the next step is to link this to our Google Sheet you can very easily do this by going up to share in your Google Sheet here and making certain that anyone with the link has editor access and then just copying the link, pasting it into here. You can then set the period so you can do it live once hourly, twice per day. I'm just going to set mine to monthly. However, if you're pulling in certain numbers such as stocks or potentially anything to do with finance, you might want to set this to do it live. Then we will do do not notify and just put in the email. So I'm just going to get fetch and or actually what I'm going to do is I'm going to set this to live because it's a lot easier. We've then got all of our headings. So as we can see here, we've got three headers and 31 rows. If we go back to our sheet, as you can see, three headers and 31 rows. Now, what you then want to do is set up your URL format. So all I have done is I have got MPG competitor hyphen alternatives. So what that looks like in a URL format is constant contact alternatives which is a super SEO friendly URL and if we click save changes as you can see here we actually have that set up now so now that we've set up the back end what we want to now do is go back to our original master page the alternatives page that we set up originally and we essentially want to make a few tweaks here to essentially make it a little bit more SEO friendly so the good thing about this plugin is, say for example, if you wanted to extract 40 different data points about Send Them Blue or about Aweber when they were essentially formed as a company, when they went um, public, etc., etc., you can essentially add as many rows or as many columns, should I say, as you can to the top here. So you can go very, very detailed with all of your reviews. So when somebody is searching get response alternatives, you have all of the entities on the page. The more entities you can fill this sheet up with the amount of columns you can do, the higher that these pages will rank. So just for this example, we only have three headers, but if you did want to essentially go down the route of finding the directors, finding the marketing directors of these companies, you definitely can in their headquarters and their address, etc, etc. You can make as many different columns as you can. Now, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be looking at the short code feature. So what I have done here is all I've done is went to short code in the MPG plugin and I'm just going to copy the MPG competitor short code. Now I'm going to go to my page and I'm going to paste in the short code here. So what this will look like, I know this looks a little bit funky right now, but it should look like Aweber alternatives. So this page, the H1, will look like ConvertKit alternatives, Drip alternatives, Mailer Lite alternatives. So if we just click on save here, so if we go back to our MPG plugin, click on the main section, and if we click on here, as you can see, now it is constant contact alternatives. So if we go back to our alternatives page, what I'm going to then do is I'm going to add in a couple sentences and I'm going to show you what you can essentially do when you start thinking outside of the box. So all I have done is I've just added in a couple sentences here. This is the sentence here. If you are looking for MPG competitor alternatives, you have come to the right place as we have reviewed the top five MPG competitors. And all I've done is I've just created a numbered list, Dash Mailing, which is obviously a made up SaaS product, Clavio, MailChimp, Casra SaaS email, Hello uh, Mail. All I'm gonna do now is just update this. And if we reload this page, as we can see here, if you are looking for constant contact alternatives, you have come to the right place as we have reviewed the top five constant contact competitors and we have put Dash Mailing, the best mailing service, as number one. Clavio is number two, MailChimp is number uh, three, and Casra SaaS as number four, and Hello Mail is number five. Now, if we go to all of our URLs here, <clears throat> so that was the constant contact. If we go to Send Them Blue, Aweber, and Get Response, 
as you can see, we have been able to essentially replicate that page and start ranking for all of these different variations. So these are all different keywords and different SaaS products that people are looking to cancel and they essentially want to find another email SaaS product. So this has essentially been our strategy on building up our SaaS empire for this client. Now, one thing that I would recommend after creating all of these pages is essentially running all these pages through a mass indexer. So for anybody that doesn't know what a mass indexer does, is it essentially pings Google to come and crawl these pages. The quicker you can get Google to crawl these pages, the quicker these pages essentially rank and the quicker you can get more traffic and more eyeballs onto your SaaS product. So that has been my SaaS case study. If you guys have any questions, feel free to drop them down below in the comment section. If you want a growth strategy with myself, make sure to check the description where you can book me out for a free 15 minute call on casual Thanks.